What up, though, Heist Man the Foe? Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, we just had the Hall of Fame this happened this weekend. And there's um, some good people that went into the 2020 Hall of Fame class. Um, they got held back a year because 2020 was bad for everybody. We all know how it went down. It was headlined by Kobe Bryant, though. Everybody loved Kobe. He deserved to go in the Hall of Fame. Um, his wife did a great speech. It was dope. Everybody loved it. Um, Tim Duncan, he got up there and did his thing. He's up there looking like Miguel. He got the same haircut. Or Killmonger, one or the other. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. Um, what's my man name? KG, Kevin Garnett, the big ticket. He went into the Hall of Fame also. And um, Rudy Tom Jonovich, he was a coach back in the days. He did his thing for Houston. He got into a fight not too long, not, I mean, a long time ago, like one of the worst fights in NBA history. But he got up there and he started saying that there's other people that need to be in the Hall of Fame. Somebody that I think should be in the Hall of Fame also. And that person is Robert Ory. Robert Ory has seven rings. This is some of his accolades right here. Um, let me just put them up here on the screen for you. See, he has seven NBA championships. He is the first player to have 100 steals, blocks, and three points in the season. Um, he has the most three points made in the NBA Finals. 56. He has the most three-point field goals without a miss in the um, playoffs, which is seven. Most steals in the NBA Finals game, seven. Top 15 in steals and blocks <clears throat> in the playoff history. Average 17 points, nine rebounds, three blocks, and four steals in the 95 Finals. And he's clutch enough to be called Big Shot Bob. Like, he should be in the Hall of Fame. He has seven rings. And this it's true. Like, why is he not in the Hall of Fame? I I really think he deserved to be in there. He got seven rings. He, he did it with every team he played for. He got three with the Bulls. I mean, mm, I'm sorry. I misspoke. He has three with the Lakers. He has two with the Rockets and two with the Spurs. That's seven rings. He, he had, like literally has a, a ring for every team he played for. He, he got two with the Rockets. Like his first season, his second season in the NBA. And he went on to do big things. He, he, big shot Bob. He hit big shots everywhere he went. So I really think he should be in the Hall of Fame. That's just me personally. Um, t um, Tracy McGrady, he's in the Hall of Fame. And this is not no Tracy McGrady slander. But I don't really think Tracy McGrady should be in <clears throat> over um, Robert Ory. Next year is the 2020, um, the 2021 Hall of Fame, and they had Paul Pierce, Chris Webber, and Ben Wallace going in. Robert Ory has more rings than all of them combined. Let me think. Hold on. Must I say that right? Yeah, he do. He has more rings than them combined. So I think he should be in, but the Tracy McGrady story is he went into the Hall of Fame and not saying he didn't deserve it, but he didn't do as much as Big Shot Bob did. I mean, he put up a lot of points. He played shooting guard. Um, he had to go up against the likes of Kobe. He's on the West Coast, so he did his thing. And this is not no slander against him, but I always thought, like, Big Shot Bob should be in there. And he came back up. Also, think, <clears throat> what's my man named Derek Fisher? He should be in the Hall of Fame. He should get that nod also. He got five rings. I mean... He, he was on the right path to doing it um, when he was a coach. You know, he played and he's going to do some coaching. He could have got in there, but he ran into Matt Barnes, and we all know how that went down. It went down, you know? So that's what I'm saying. It, it, maybe I'm just, you know, Laker biased or something by um, saying Derek Fisher should be in, but he has five rings. But I really do think Robert Orr should be in the Hall of Fame. He has seven rings to his first season. He waited a few, you know, a few years. I think he had like five years without having a ring between championships. Like he, he did some real good things, man. And I'm advocating for him to be in the what the 2022 since they already have the 2021 lined up already. Um, yeah. Robert Dory, man, I think he should go in the Hall of Fame. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. <clears throat> Does Robert Dory deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? I mean, his accolades speak for themselves. Let me see if I can find this one more time. Where his accolades at? Gotta find the buttons. Oh, that's Miguel. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking at the pictures now. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so... Here we go. Right here. 
Look at that. Seven rings. Seven. Seven rings, man. You cannot. You can't. Like, these are his accolades right here. Like, he got one his rookie season. His rookie season. And he helped out the Houston Rockets to get that. It wasn't like he sat on the bench and got a ring. He did stuff. He had, like, a big dunk in, the, in that game, man. He had the box going up in his head. He wore number 25. That was pretty dope. Um, He won two rings with them. Then he went on to the Lakers. Got three with them. Then he went on. He got two more. That's seven rings, man. He not in the Hall of Fame. I don't think he ever made an all-star game or he had um no big career numbers and, you know, numbers. But to be on the team, to win seven championships, to be on seven teams, to win, I think that deserves being there. I think he's like, there's only three players that have seven rings. And he's like the only nine Celtic to have more than six rings. So, man, come on, man. Robert Ory, we know you doing your thing, man. Like, what, what, who the powers to be that we had to reach out to somebody to get this information to him? Not to him. Like, Rudy Tom Jonovich is his old coach. He used to coach him his rookie season. And he just went to the Hall of Fame. So, he had his chance to speak his piece. And he's advocating for um, Robert Ory to be in the Hall of Fame also. Like, like I said, man, you got Ben Wallace in there. Ben Wallace probably never scored 10 points in his career in no game. He, he wasn't for the points. He was for rebounding and blocks. He deserved it. He was getting rebounds and blocks, and he was intimidating when he was doing it. So he deserved his ring. Paul Pierce, that's a bad – shut your mouth, you know. he he, he That's the truth. He's been doing his thing. C-Webb, um, I mean, this is – NBA and college career. This is the Basketball Hall of Fame. It's not the NBA Hall of Fame. So he did do his thing with the Fab Five. He transi transitioned basketball to become what it is, you know, with the, the shorts, the black socks, the swag, the Fab Five. They did their thing. So he deserved it as well. NBA, he did his thing. He played with the um the Kings back when they had that that going on. Pedro Stoyakovich, Vladi, Mike Bibby. They had it going on over there, so he deserved his too. So that's all I'm saying is Robert Dory, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame with seven rings that can get you there. Who else? Do John, how many rings does John Sally have? Is John Sally in the Hall of Fame? I don't know, but John Sally got a lot, got a lot of rings too. Anyway, I'm going to finish this conversation later, man. I go live on the channel every Friday, man. Y'all got to check me out, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace.